Welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 28th of October. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. This week begins in glittering fashion. We have a new moon in the sign of Scorpio. Think of the things that you really value, not just at a superficial level, but really deeply. Now this could be a friendship, it could be a romance, it could be a car, it could be a material item. Whatever it is that's important to you, it's going to take on more significance over the next month. But this new moon throws up a little bit of a curve ball because in opposition is Uranus, the planet of surprises, of change, of revolution, of independence and freedom. Yet both the Sun and Uranus are located in fixed zodiac signs. That means signs which prefer the status quo. And that's interesting because Scorpio energy is about transformation, but often Scorpio people are happier to stick with what they know and then change when it comes happens in rather a major way. So this particular new moon does point towards really being in touch with the things we value but also being flexible because some things could be altering. Now because Scorpio can also be about, about long-term resources, it can be about insurance, it can be about savings, pensions, property, business, entrepreneurial shit, with Uranus in opposition, this is asking us to be very open-minded. In fact, the more flexible we can be, the better we can capitalise. And there may be some sudden opportunities to make some real progress. But equally, we could have a situation where someone tries to push us out of a way of being, a habit, a ritual that actually we're more comfortable with. And that pushing can intensify from the middle of this week when ironically the two rulers of Scorpio go into a right angle. Mars is in the principal sign of Libra and Pluto is in the very traditional sign of Capricorn. So it's possible that some kind of shift in a relationship, and it could be around finance, it could be about who does or contributes what, it could be about intimacy and sexual relations, but some kind of shift is possible this week. And also from Thursday, Mercury, the planet of communication, puts the brakes on and goes into a retrograde that will last through to the 19th of November. This suggests that some things could be stopped and start. Things that we had planned upon may be subject to alterations, not just because of the retrograde, but because of Uranus's impact too. But Venus moves on Saturday into the sign of Sagittarius. Well, Venus is really going to love this transit. It's much freer, it's much more flirty, it's much more about travel, experiencing new people or new places, and just being a little bit more uh, spontaneous in our approach to our relationships. But it's also about truth. So if a truth of a relationship needs to be tackled this week on the back of the uh, tensions that are created by Mars in its square with Pluto, or the need or desire for change or the restlessness that comes from this new moon, that we crave for something more meaningful in our life, perhaps beyond the things that have sustained us so far, then it does seem that we do need to go with the flow at some levels. Your specific forecast, Pisces, suggests that you could find yourself with some proverbial itchy feet this week. Yes, the desire to break out of a particularly rather routine and structured lifestyle could actually really be high, and it can go on for the next four weeks. But with Mercury tracking backwards from Thursday, if you do decide to make some changes, they need to be handled and managed in a way that other people will be supportive. It is possible that if you're traveling, particularly a longer journey, that there's the potential for delays or misunderstandings or glitches. But when Mercury goes retrograde, it can also give us an opportunity to learn something. 
And your learning on this particular phase through to the 19th of November may be about a higher principle or a philosophy. And you could find yourself rethinking your outlook in a way which is very helpful to you. However, in the second half of this week, it is true that Mars and Pluto are clashing. If there are some politics around you, or there is someone that you're attracted to, but you're not quite sure how they feel, I wouldn't be too impulsive. Fortunately, Venus, as this week draws to a close, climbs into a very influential, but very harmonising part of your scope. And if you do need to take the lead or reach out to anyone influential, I do feel that that's going to help you to achieve what you need. Thank you so much for having joined me. If you'd like to understand what year 2020 would hold for you as an individual beyond your zodiac sign, please click on the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free, plus 2020, and get 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.